Hello, Internet. Welcome to the Smoke Sesh. We've collected quite a lot of games over many years. We don't think we'll have enough time to play them all, but we're going to give it our best shot anyway. Here, we like to hang out with friends, play games, talk about TV shows and other media, maybe have a tasty snack along the way. We're all about a good time here, so sit back, relax, grab your smokable of choice, and let's get started. Oh, yeah. And now he's back! And then he went to go heal and catch up on supplies, because, you know, they control pirate down, too. You think that they would lock this place up tight while you're gone? That tells me they didn't realize that you left. They thought you were still a year. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't you? Well, probably. So many of your scientists have been talking about how this guy has been here. He's been this, that, and the other, and then did you really expect him to just be gone? <laughs> Sir, I thought I saw him leave. Lock it down tight. I want to figure out how to get in that room. Pro the only way to access it is elevator. 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 Something tells me the 3D printing Pokemon in there. <laughs> oh no, they have taken uh, <laughs> they've taken God to a whole new level. They did that with Mewtwo. And Mewtwo was a problem. Should I go forward or right? Right. Oh, okay. Hey, a full restore. Right was right, dude. It's been transferred to the PC, though. Now we get to go up. That's forward. Again, I'm gonna try to go up here first, because it's not an elevator. What is in this room? A scientist. That's where they're making Pokemon, dude. You're right, they're 3D printing Pokemon, dude. I like how they like, kind of like turn to look at you as you walk past them. Look at him up there. He looks like the final boss of this area. Yeah. What in the name of... How do you do to avoid the eyes of our security staff? I didn't. That's the thing. I beat their ass. Researcher Dubik would like the battle... He's got electrodes. As much as I would like to jump into XD right after this, I mean, I guess we can, but we definitely got to stick to that we have to finish Apollo Justice. As, yeah. As well as we have to finish Yakuza 0. Yeah, that's true. And Majora's Mask. Yeah. If we get Majora's Mask out of the way, we could maybe it open us up a little bit. Yeah. So maybe we should go back and forth on recording. Maybe we should record more Majora and Yakuza 0 and stuff. Not bad, yeah. That makes sense. Goodbye, Electro. And if we get through Yakuza 0, we can get to Yakuza Kiwami where you're at. Yeah, that's true. And then you can, you can just uh, react to it while I play it for the sesh. Alright, fair. Electrode couldn't handle it. Yeah, I'll finally get to learn what mess of life they got going on in Yakuza. In Kiwami? The whole thing after a while. Yeah. Because I've seen bits and pieces of later games, but like, I have no idea what led up to it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a whole mess. It's a whole mess and a half that had consequences that'll last forever. Like, some of the consequences that happened in Kwame, they're still talking about. <laughs> Kwame yeah. was like 20 years ago. No, Kwame was 05. They're about in 2023 now. So, like, 18 so years it was ago. 18 years ago. <laughs> Get me on two years. I swear to God. Well, you gotta be accurate. And then, second of all, 
The fact that 2005 is the thing you should have been more worried about. 2005 was 18 years ago. <laughs> Almost. We're in 2024. Yeah, we're in 2024. 2005 is 19 years ago. And I'm pretty sure 8 set in 2023, 2024, so... It feels like a long time ago, dude. Life was so much different back then. Back in the days of going to elementary school. Oh, look at that shadow Pokemon. All kinds of different things were happening. Is that accurate? What? Were we in elementary school in 2005? I thought we were in middle school. 2005? Uh, yeah. We definitely should have been in elementary school. It's hard to believe that we were in elementary school in 2005. In 2012, we were in high school. Yeah. Class of 2016, baby. Yeah, you figure elementary school was like five years. Middle school is three. Yeah. And high school is four. Freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. As a freshman, you're looking around, you're like, oh man, all these people look like adults. September 4th, 2012. Like, you get there and you're looking around, and everybody just looks like an adult who's walking around, and you're like, oh man, I'm still a child compared to these guys. <laughs> yeah. And then when you're finally a senior walking on that day, you see all these children walking around. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> And the teachers are happy slash sad to see you go, depending on who they were. Yeah. Some teachers just don't care. They don't, they don't give a damn. But there were a few that, you know, were like, man, it's gonna suck not having you here. I just imagine, I didn't see him on graduation day, but I just imagine Demeterchik was somewhere like, Woo! He's gone! Uh, finally gone. That man was so against you. <laughs> He's like vehemently against you. And he never told me why, either. He was so happy to take my grandfather's knife away from me, though. Even though that it was dull and had a broken lock. I mean, technically, you shouldn't have had it. But technically, that man was so happy to take a family heirloom away, even though it wasn't capable of hurting anybody. Like, literally, it was dull, and the lock was broken. And it was chipped in multiple places. Oh my god. He was not capable of any damage. And he was like, Knife! 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 Sean's trying to kill people! Knife! No! And I was like, Oh, I didn't realize I was trying to kill people. Thank you for telling me that. How did they even find out you had it? Were you, did you, like, show it to somebody? No, they, like, had people look inside my backpack. Oh. They did that a lot. Or do they do that to a lot of problem students? Or quote unquote problem students? No, there were students worse than me that never got their bag checked. I got singled out in a lot of that regard. Like, unless they were like violent offenders or whatever, they never really got their bag checked. That's weird. And there are people getting in worse fights than I've ever got into. Yeah, I saw a couple fights break out here and there. They were usually broken up pretty quickly. I remember one teacher almost got, like, punched in the face. The few teachers got punched in the face. It was like, imagine, like, these, these two students, like, get into a fight. They're both, honestly, kind of fat. Yeah. And then, like, this Are you one... talking about the, uh, the upperclassmen girls that got into a fight in the cafeteria? I, I think so, yeah. Because there was, like, one black chick and one white chick. <laughs> yeah. And they were, like, getting into a fight with each other, and they were both kind of fat. You think I should hit them with Cheddar Rush? Yes. And, um, one of the teachers, I can't remember which one, I don't even think I knew knew who it was, 
but like it was like short skinny teacher like couldn't have been more than like five four or five five like trying to try to jump between them and she gets like pushed and shoved by one of the students yeah and so these students are like five ten like gotta be at least 240 or 50 pounds each so his little skinny teacher is like what is wrong with you two you're supposed to be like upper classmen. You're supposed to be like respectful and responsible. Teachers and, are always like that, though. And you and you're like getting into like fist fights with each other. It's been like, what has it been for her? Twenty years since she's been a junior. A yeah. teacher. <laughs> and then there was like a male teacher who like jumped in between them and was like, "Stop!" And he was like, uh, "He was one of the really tall teachers." So semi built. Yeah. So he jumped between them and they both like quit. Teenager, everything's like a minefield, an emotional minefield. And like, anything could pop at any minute. I understand that. But like, there has to be something in the back of your head where you know that this is just not worth it. It also depends on what was going on outside of class, because, like, outside of school, there's a lot of things going on that we didn't know about. Yeah, but the simple fact like, of the matter... Like, there's a lot of gangs in our school, did you know that? But the simple fact of the matter is, gangs are not. Like, you know that you're not supposed to be fighting other people. Like, you know that. You choose to do this. You yeah. choose to be a crappy person. Oh, no doubt. They choose to fight each other, but, like... Sort of? But, yeah. No, it, it's definitely a choice. I didn't say it wasn't a choice. I just said sort of to the fact that they choose to be crappy people. Those people in particular, probably. But, like, there are a lot of people that got targeted in the school that all they could do was fight back. But now they're being labeled as a shitty person because all they did was defend themselves. There's got to be, like, a better method than throwing fists with somebody. That's just kind of like giving credence to whatever they're saying. Well, it's like scenarios like this. You're getting punched in the head, and do you want me to talk to them? I mean, I'm sure there's somebody to talk to about that. During while I'm getting punched in the head by them? Are you saying that I should just sit down and take it? Not totally. Like, in that kind of scenario. Like, it's one thing if you're out on the street and somebody does this. I definitely think you should be able to pop one back. You know? But, like, people do gang up on people in school and their only recourse is to fight back. And that way, as soon as they do that, not only do they lose respect, they lose everything because they decided to defend themselves. Because... In a school setting, especially, you know, in the scenario I proposed, this happened in a crowded cafeteria. Yeah. Like, it wasn't like there weren't, you know... And obviously I'm talking about a different scenario than that one. Yeah. I mean, I, I get that. Like, you know, if it's... I don't know. I guess there's no right answer. Because in the situation you're talking about is two people being stupid, but there's a lot of things that went on in the same school you're talking about that there was no time to talk to anybody. There was just two people who are gonna fight one person and it's either go time or get your ass beat. Well... I guess in that situation you're supposed to just take it. Well, you mean like they back him up against a wall kind of thing? No, I mean like two people are physically fist fighting one person. And no one's coming to help them. I mean, there's probably another direction you can move. Like, if you end up in a scenario like that, just turn around, go somewhere where there is, you know, people who can moderate this. This is exactly how no self-defense law got in Delaware. This is exactly the same way this happened. That you're not allowed to defend yourself unless you're cornered. I mean, if you're out in the street, there's probably nowhere you can go for that. It's That's one thing. But in a school... In a school, when you're all in a classroom, that is a small square with one entrance and one exit, and two people are fighting you, and they're usually on the side of the exit. 
and that the other students are usually scared to do anything. And the teacher's on the other side of the room. I mean, if they're on the other side of the room, you just scream. <laughs> you just yell for the you just yell for the teach. You're just teaching cowardice. Not really. Yes, really. Like that's a way to avoid getting into any kind of trouble. Yeah. Because the schools don't care. You're right. They don't care. But all you're really saying is it's okay if they hurt you. I'm not really saying it's okay if they hurt you. That. that like, obviously, they'll get what's coming to them. Yeah, and you'll also get hurt before that happens. Nine times out of ten. Most students who end up fighting, especially if they actually hurt somebody, nine times out of ten, they end up getting, like, expelled or sent away. Yeah, after the fight's over. After the other party's already injured. That happens. The fight has to be over before discipline can take place. So during that time, they just want you to sit and take it, even if they fucking break your bones. Which has happened more than multiple times. And everyone's like, oh, you shouldn't fight back, because the moment you fight back, you're gonna have repercussions. Okay, well in that time, they can break my bone. I'm so happy that I have these academic opportunities. There was people trying to fight me before, and the teachers turned their backs. Ah, uh, now I seriously doubt that. That's how they keep doing shit in schools. I see it now. I doubt any teacher is, any legit teacher is gonna turn their back hmm. on something like that. They're, hmm. probably, they're probably gonna jump in the way. I've hmm. seen that happen several times. Yeah. I'm sure you've seen it happen in crowded areas. Yeah. Well, semi-crowded areas. Yeah, exactly. mentality is why some students don't speak up. Yeah, I'm, hey, I'm allowed to be skeptical about that one. Yeah, just like people were skeptical about the assault and other things that were happening in colleges and high schools, right? And then they turned out to be happening. Yeah, like I said, it's definitely one thing if there's absolutely nothing you can do, then yeah, definitely fight back. But like... Also, especially in the case where there's two against one, where are you going? This is where we analyze our DNA. Uh, 
That's the evolved form of Totodile. Yeah. Or maybe the maximum evolved form of Totodile, two evolutions of Crocodile. Suicune. Whoa. This item can't be used now. Man. Okay. I like how he was the first scientist to actually pull the alarm. <laughs> I love how I disregarded it. Yeah. Who's coming? Nobody. All you're doing is making loud noises at this point, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, but but I don't really understand people who's like need to like fight each other. I don't really understand like what you get out of it. Oh, nine times out of ten, it's so they can hurt you. That's all it is. You're doing something they don't like, so they threaten injury, or try to propose injury on you so you stop doing the behavior they don't like. And then when you defend yourself, it's a problem. Kind of makes me think of, um, I want to say Missouri? There was one student that got her, like, skull bludgeoned in by another student. Yeah, and if she would have fought back, she would have been terrible. Yeah, because she, like, the student, like, knocked her out and, like, kept smacking her head into the ground. Like, well beyond, like, capacitation. Like, you know, put her, like, ICU in the hospital, I believe. Yeah, which happens more often than and you think. the attorney general was saying that, you know, even though it's a child... Missouri law dictates that if a child attacks anybody, really, with the intent to really hurt or maim or even kill, which this girl ended up in the ICU, she's in really bad shape. Yeah, which means that you had the intent to hurt. Then uh, they have to be charged at, like, you know, as, an adult, as an adult. They should yeah. be. Mm -hmm. Because you do realize the youngest serial killer was seven, right? Oh, yeah. Which means that I don't. I'm not trying to sound harsh here, but children know full well what they're doing. That's like that nine year old somewhere overseas. I can't remember where. Some backwater country. And, uh, like, kids were going missing from their village, and they found out later that it was the kid. That it was, like, some nine year old kid. Yeah, that was the was second. Like strangling other kids. The second youngest serial killer in the world. And, like, he didn't care. The uh, first when one when asked about it, he like totally admitted to doing it yeah. and didn't understand why it was wrong. Yeah. So kids know what they're doing. Not all of them, obviously, but like the ones that do do these things know exactly what they're doing, and they hide behind the fact that they're a child because they're smart enough to realize that children get get uh, less punishment. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's one of the things the attorney general was saying. He's like, yeah, if, if, you know, like, something has to happen here. Accountability has to be had. Because if they don't, then this behavior is going to continue. And then when they're an adult, and they think that it's okay, and they're bigger, and they can do more. Uh, exactly. And so that's one of the things that they're trying to push, is like, you can't be doing this. Because I think it was one of those schools where, like, the actual white population of the school was like 1%. Yeah. So a very small portion of their students were white-skinned, and the rest of them were some kind of ethnic. Yeah. Other kind of ethnic, I guess. And, um... <laughs> Is that what they're called? That sounds like, like, barcode levels for Jews, but that's not there nor there. I don't know. I mean, I, I always thought ethnic was like a catch-all term for, like, anybody who's not white. And you don't see why they're angry? I mean, like, there's this whole racist thing, and, like, sometimes it's nonsense, but, like, you just said there's a catch-all term for anybody who's not white. Uh, it's just the way they friggin' use it. But if there was a catch-all term for, uh, people who were only white, white people would be upset. There is. Cracker! <laughs> oh, and they're kidding. upset about that, uh, right? Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's, uh, but, yeah, but, like, I, like, so it was, like, a really small portion of the population, so it was this, like, little white girl that got, like, her head bludgeoned in. Yeah. And so they're like, well, she's gonna have to be charged like an adult. According that does to, sound racially motivated, though. According to Missouri law. 
Otherwise, behavior like this is just going to keep happening because everybody thinks they can get away with it. Yeah. That's why I'm mad about all these immigrants that keep committing all these crimes. These illegal-ass immigrants, they keep committing all these crimes. We hear about it all the time. Like, uh, Lake and Riley. And they just keep getting let go. Like, come on. Yeah. Like, what kind of precedent does that set? Like, if you're just going to do that, then the rule of law means nothing. Does that mean if I identify as an illegal immigrant, I get immunity? Uh, you'd have to renounce your citizenship first, and then come across the border. So you'd have to, like, leave, renounce your citizenship, and then come across the border under their terms with that, like, app that they have. And then you get immunity from any crime that you do. She! Maybe we should just do that. <laughs> <laughs> Although... There's a really good chance it's going to get rectified here really soon. It should. This is definitely a breach of security on it the highest level. Is. It absolutely is. Like, everybody involved in the bringing over of these immigrants should be charged with invasion. Yeah, that's but, what it is. Yeah, but it's like, we're going to get canceled for this. But it's the Biden administration bringing everybody over. I, re I really hate that, you know, people in our own country just hate us so much they hate america but they work for america and they get in these positions of power where they're able to change america and they don't want to fix america they want to ruin it yeah I was that's what frustrates me i was watching this dude uh on youtube and his name is wise and he just talks about random you know different stuff that talking about wise speed Oh, he just has a bunch of yap sessions and he usually talks about uh, foreign countries and how their food practices are shitty. No. no. This dude is named Wise. Like, when he go when he comes on in the beginning of the show, it's it's your boy, Wise. Oh, I've never heard of him before but, uh, in my life. You've never showed me him? Uh, that's because I literally just found him, like, earlier today. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, no, I was listening to his thing and uh, one of the uh, videos he had, like, he, he does, like, com he does, like, commentary on, like, other people's videos. And one of them, like, these two dudes were arguing with this liberal dude and the liberal dude and they were like what you don't believe in america first and he's like no i don't and the only thing i can think when i hear people go i don't believe in america first not him right no i don't think so Hold on. i can check okay continue talking while you look but like well, the only thing I can think of when I hear I don't believe in America first is like, oh, you hate America? You why really are, hate us that badly? Why are you here, then? Yeah. Most people who uh, can voice these hey, opinions if, on these different platforms have enough money to leave. Yeah, if... Like, it was some old dude who probably has only ever watched CNN and MSNBC, like, ever. Is he a veteran? Because no. veterans have a right to hate this place. I don't, I don't recall. Because veterans are treated poorly worse than, like, citizens in this country at this point. They really are, and that's really messed up. Like, citizens are treated poorly, but, like, all these benefits that these veterans were supposed to have, and at one point, they yeah, even, like, marched in D.C., yeah. and, like, they were dispersed by the National Guard. Yeah. It's like, come on. And it's not like they don't know what the National Guard is. They served under the armed forces. The National Guard and the Armed Forces go hand in hand, and there's a there's a big running joke about how they like talk to each other all the time, and that like the real branches called the National uh, the National Guard, not real military, so they know full well what they were sending after them. Uh, looks like his his channel is um, a righteous perspective. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, we'll so watch him later. Sounds like a pretty base dude. <laughs> We'll see if he's based, but we'll watch him later. I think he's pretty... I, I listened to, like, two or three of his videos. Yeah, at me. I was listening to it at work, but, uh... <laughs> yeah, I listened to, like, two or three of his videos, and uh, he seems pretty based. I listen to Quinnet music at work. <laughs> it helps the time go by. Yeah, that's why, I, that's why I like to listen to people talk about news. I like to keep up on things that are happening, but when I'm at work, I'm not supposed to be able to keep up on any of it. Yeah, but people can keep up with the Kardashians all day. Yeah, right? Uh, 
Now you're stuck. There's no escaping the lab for you. You don't like the foo hoo hoo or the wah ha ha, do you? Wah ha 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 ha! Also, I'm pretty sure I can just leave if I want to. There's no leaving the lab. We'll see about that. Bye! You want to check if he's right? I know dang well he's wrong. They're not going to stop us from leaving. Could you imagine being one of these fucking scientists and researchers or in cleanup control of the cypher peons that have to come clean us up? Yeah, right. And like, yeah, and then you hear the phrase, you want to check if he's wrong? <laughs> Like, you had no intention on leaving, did you? <laughs> you just want to see if this guy's bluffing. Well, let's find out. He's wrong. We can leave if we want to. <laughs> we can leave this world behind. <laughs> There's no leaving now! Because <laughs> they didn't chase me and they don't want me to go. But they're free to XP, so I'm going back. Of course they didn't close the exit. They're hoping you leave. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't close it the moment you stepped out, though. Yeah, but the power moved to be like, I, I bet you're wrong. And then leave, <laughs> and then five minutes later see that we're running back. Oh, go back up to him. You lied to me. What? You lied to me. You said I couldn't leave. You checked? <laughs> <laughs> you're damn right I did. That elevator didn't make a noise when I entered it. Interesting. How much you want to bet he's going to say the same thing? Hashtag GameCube. Yeah. Okay. Nothing different. All right, let's keep it moving. Hi, I heard the alarm, so I came running. Man, Why didn't you, you come running? You're late. <laughs> I was already at the basement. I could have left. I mean, the first floor. I could have left. Basement is underground level, so. Yeah, I ran all the way back upstairs and then back down here the time it took you to get here. Who is it? I told you there was one of those. So anyway. <laughs> you know the drill. Let's single this Pokemon out. Dabber really? Barely survived. Hyper B! I'm Brown's level 54 this turn. <laughs> Maybe I should have heeded your advice and gave Umbreon the XP a share. Just to get her to level 60. You know? Yeah. Ah, well. Just leave it on Entei for now. Ow, you hit me for less than 30. <laughs> that was mildly inconvenient, if I do say so myself. Ooh, level 60 Espeon this turn, hopefully. No. They're attacking Espeon. Everyone's attacking Espeon, but I bet I'll get this level of... There's still three Pokemon left, one of which being Fibrava, which means when I kill Kecleon, Umbreon's gonna faint attack the next Pokemon. It's not very effective. It faints. Because Kecleon changes its type based on what you hit it with. Ah. No, fuck you. Dang it. Swallow. Fan attack that swallow, baby. Or Get hyper beam that swallow. Beam. I, I it missed. missed. Whatever, dog.
Because I can't attack with Umbreon this turn. I might as well try. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not ogre until it's ogre. Here's get fucked jutsu. It did his job. And apparently our school wasn't even the worst. Central was worse than our state, and all the inner city schools are worse than that. Oh yeah. And we had this shit going on in our schools, so, like, it was worse up there at the time, and it's a lot worse now. That's because even in the time we were in school, cities were dumpsters. Yeah, but everything's a lot worse now down here. Yeah. Because everybody's leaving them cities and going elsewhere. There's only some. There's only so many places for them to go. Well, it's not just that. Since COVID happened, everything has been getting a lot worse. That yeah. whole big absence let them plan a whole bunch of shit. Yeah. Students were barely allowed in school for a while. That's what your brother was talking about. Yeah, no, they weren't for a little while. And um, it's even worse in certain places because they're, they're starting, like, especially like places like New York and certain sanctuary cities now, they're like using schools to house immigrants. While school's happening? No, they're just not allowed in schools. They're forcing them online so that they can use the schools to house the illegal aliens. That's fucking ridiculous. It really is. I thought the apartments in, like, New York and stuff were cool, where they were using abandoned schools and, like, refurnishing some of the parts of the abandoned, uh, keyword, abandoned schools and turning them into apartments. Yeah, I thought that was cool, but I don't think they should be housing them in, like, classrooms and shit. Yeah, like, actual schools that, you know, were in session before all this. That sounds like the next type of invasion. Yeah, it is. To take out the academics. It definitely is. Not that the academics were very good to start with. I mean, Common <laughs> Core, come on, guys. Common Core is, like, literally pulled out of the trash. Like, it actually was pulled out of the trash. Absolutely ridiculous. Common Core is the lowest rated education system in the world. Maybe that's why we're having so much problems with certain people these days. Yeah, and plus, have you seen what they've tried to teach? They're like, oh, we gotta teach critical thinking. But at no point during any of that did they teach critical thinking. Because, like, there were, like, some things that didn't make any sense. Like, something to this... They're the same level, but Gligar might have an advantage over him. Should I shadow rush him? Yes. It's gonna kill him. No, it won't. They're the same level. Oh. If he did it that way, it might. <laughs> yeah, they're the same level, but Gligar hits hard for a Pokemon. Continue what you were saying. Stop breaking yeah, because I asked a question. Yeah, so, like stuff to this effect. Like Johnny has three apples. Amanda has four apples. If Amanda gives Johnny three apples, how many apples does Brenda have? Who the fuck is Brenda and why is she here? That would be my answer. It was like this one thing I saw where it was like, uh, it was just like elementary school questions and it was like they were like passing around candy like, you know, if so-and-so had six and the other person had 12, how much does John have? And it's like, John has diabetes. <laughs> John has diabetes. He just ate like 18 candy bars in a row, dude. Like... <laughs> Or it could be like some places where, you know, some of those parents were attending these school board meetings. 
and I was listening to one of them. The because the guy literally came and during the school board meeting was reading the homework aloud. And it was like le legitimately talking about dicks. <laughs> like to the point where they kept screaming at him that they had to stop because this was inappropriate and then they like cut off his mic. In my personal He was reading the fucking homework! Yeah, in my personal opinion, if it's appropriate to send home with children as homework, it's, it's appropriate, appropriate to talk during this fucking meeting! Exactly. You're not gonna fucking send it home with my child and then go, it's inappropriate to talk about during the meeting. Yeah, if it's appropriate to be sent home, it's appropriate to be talked about here. We gotta give this nibba a paralyzed heal. Let it paralyze my boy Glygar. And we need to get a revive on Espeon. That's the next thing. I'm working on all that. I'm gonna try to use the energy powders before the potion because there's much more of them. Oh yeah, absolutely. What? What do they want? Remember earlier where we got the DNA samples? Yeah, DNA sample A was that sweet coon and we couldn't use the other one so we don't know who it was take a guess uh it was entei nope here's how i solve these puzzles if i don't know the answer there we go <laughs> you gave me two out of three well we're trying all the options buddy there's only so many to choose not once, not twice, but three times we meet. Scrub, it's Scrub! You're back, Scrub! <laughs> Man, if we meet one more time, I have to say Scrub's got to join the sesh. <laughs> what, three times and he can join the sesh? He's a Scrub, he's pathetic. Cue the clip from Majora's Mask. How fast can we complete Majora's Mask? Do you recall who I am? I shall avenge my humiliation at the Relic Forest. I took your hit one, Tom, and he's ready to be purified. I know you hate that. Hate that he's ready to be purified. Would have been even funnier if we had Hitmon Top in our in our uh, party. No, I put him into to be purified folder. He's got a Wobbuffet now and a Graveler. He already had a Graveler. Where'd you get the Wobbuffet, bro? Is he a shadow? Please be a Shadow Wobbuffet. I'd like to have a Shadow Wobbuffet. No, okay. Aw, no Wobbuffet. Graveler's getting psychic. Wobbuffet. James would be in his glory. So anyway, bye Wobbu- uh, bye Gla Graveler. Oh, Wobbuffet! Level 60. Yeah, finally. Is that the shadow Pokemon? No. No. Oh. Okay. Wobbuffet's tough, man. And he used counter. Oof. You fucked my dog up. That's... Be ready, prepare, you're good to meet my dog. Dog, I choose you. Someone's gonna be like, why are all these Pokemon your fucking dog? <laughs> and why is only Espeon your cat? Alright, Fire Blast Wobbuffet and Psychic that fucking clam. Harvest its meat so I may eat it. Clams are really good, especially with butter. You get some fucking melted butter up in there and they're delicious. Oof. Shrimp are really good too. Crab meat's good. Certain kinds this of fish are good. No, it's not. I don't think Scrub could deal with his loss. He didn't get another Shadow Pokemon. <laughs> Much like certain people who uh, cry over their cat's death, and they never get another one the rest of their days. Uh, I get it. Losing your cat is um... like it sucks, but like. 
If you want a cat, have a cat. You're also fully aware that cats live like anywhere from 13 to 20 years. Eventually you're going to lose your cat. Unless you have less than 13 to 20 years. Then your cat will lose you. Yeah. You know, if you die out, out and about, like at work, or like you're trying to go do something, and you have a dog, your dog will never see you return home, and all dogs do is wait for their owners to return home, so for that dog, the owner will never return. That's so sad. Cats will eat your corpse, though. After a certain amount of time, cats will just stop caring. Yeah, because I've seen, uh... Like, cats do care, and they remember all the good times you have together, but after a certain amount of it, they stop caring after you're dead. Dogs hold that shit in until they die. Poor doggo. That's because dogs are super loyal. Where is it? I just picked it up. Oh, right, my inventory's full. What, what did you pick up? An HP up. I was going to give it to Espeon. Oh. We made it. You're right, he's the final boss. <laughs> Good, this this has been scrubbed of all data. That's done it. I forgot to wow. heal Umbreon. Crap. How did you get in without my notice? Ah, I see, you must be that much talked about Seth. Little did I expect to see you here. You heard that alarm blaring and you didn't expect to see me? <laughs> that alarm blares every day, I don't know what to tell you. I'm Ian, I am in charge of the Shadow Pokemon Lab. You're Ian? Nope. Uh, spread your legs. You're about to get the knee of justice. I promise the knee of justice. No one must be allowed to interfere with our shadow Pokemon plan. I won't allow it. No, he's a dick. He's doing this because he's evil. Yeah. The rest of them were just researchers. Let me acquaint you with the power of my shadow Pokemon. Oh, are you going to have more than one? It's going to be the first battle where we get more than one. Yeah, but don't worry, the first the first couple turns we gotta like heal our Pokemon. Yeah. Espeon and Dog also. Will Dog also level up? Figure it out soon. Umbreon's the only one passed away! Umbreon! So here's what we're gonna do. I wish we could use Awakening on a fainted Pokemon. Yeah, they're only fainted, right? Why do we need to use a Revive? Interesting, isn't it? Bye, Huntail. Ian's like, what the fuck? Yay, dog also leveled up. And they can never take that away from me. No! What did you do to me? It's super effective, bro. So for that... Sense to use the 200 now. He's hanging in there. He's tough. He's tougher than a box of rocks. All right, let's see what we got. Please don't kill my cat. I'll try not to. He is rain dance. Now we're all wet.
Let's see if we can take him out with this one. Everybody's always attacking Espeon. Take them both out. Well, one out of two ain't bad. We got a gold bat in the room. Oh no. What did it do? It's confused! Killed my cat? Oh no. There you go. And who's Espeon? It's confused. Who's confused? Suicune. Who cares? <laughs> he was like, blah blah blah, my shadow Pokemon. He's probably gonna hit himself. It's fine. He was like, blah blah blah, my shadow Pokemon hasn't had a single one. As far as I can tell, right? Hasn't had a single one. His last one is going to be his only Shadow Pokemon. Yeah, well, let's hope, but let's hope. Come on, dog. Dog, level up. Raikou. I told you Raikou was going to be here somewhere. We need to catch the Raikou. Remember, bro? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> that will do. Hey. How many turns has it been? It's been like three or four. Oh, okay. Let's hope we get lucky. Gonna try it. I am. Not gonna be this time, is it? Nope. I thought it was for a second. That would have been great, though. RNG was not in our favor on this day. Yeah, we gotta uh, deal Raikou some damage. Use thunder again. That's fine. Dog oh, also is gone, dude. That's fine. I didn't mean to bring Gligar out anyway. I'm bringing Soda Widow out. Do you think that'll be fine to attack Raikou with? Yeah. Because I know Espeon and Umbreon will cream him at this stage. Oh, they absolutely will. So what do you think, Gligar? Should attack him with Shadow Rush, or should I throw a uh, Timer Ball on him, or an Ultra Ball? Hit him with Shadow Rush. It's gonna kill him, dude. Doubtful. I thought the one was gonna do a little damage, but I took half the health bar. Remember? Honestly, he's probably done f Oh. Oh, no. To be fair, Soto Widow's weak as fuck. He's level 35 in a level 40 man's game. Yeah, and he used, like, one of the strongest lightning moves. What do you use, Thunder? Yeah. I want to get a Pikachu, but they're really hard to... Did it break? No, it threw my phone at me. I set it up like this, and it, like, threw my phone down like that. No, I want to get a Pikachu, but they're really hard to get in this in this game. Ah. You have to get them to the Poke spots. Ah. And you gotta put Poke Snacks down to get Poke uh, to get wild Pokemon to attract to them. It's a side thing, so I don't think it's spoilerly. Okay. Gligar's almost there, bud. We can take Gligar out of our party soon. I'm 
want to put Raikou in my party so badly. Yeah, I know. We might have to. We're gonna have to attack him at least once. I took the rest of it, even though he had half of the last bar. It missed. Good. Means we live to fight another day. Since we agreed shadow rushing is fine. Yeah. I have to at least try. The catch rate might be in our favor sometimes. Yeah, especially the more turns go by with that timer ball. That would have been amazing. Why did it wait so long before it stopped? I don't know. It probably calculates a number and then... Oh, again? And what, that number is not greater than Raikou's number? Yeah, it calculates a number, and then probably the number is how, you know, dictates how many times it actually, like, rolls. Well, it wasn't in our favor at all that time. What? Is that your current one? Yeah. The top. I didn't know you had a system plan down for it. I know the last time you forgot. When you had that one. Yeah, I just do it when I'm done with it. Well, when you had that one, when you listened to the Irish Rovers, you put it away with the top one, so I didn't know. turns go by, it feels like it's less effective. And he killed it, right? No. no. Not even close. And for some reason, his thunder keeps missing. He keeps using it too much. I did twice last time. That's not doing anything at all. Do your shadow rush. I guess he must have ran out of uh PP? Yeah. Oof, that was effective. Hardly matters with how much revives we have. And we got a shadow rush in. Now oh. the timer ball might work. Yeah, but we can't shadow rush him again. No. Especially not if he's gonna be using shadow rush. Blackguard is not going to listen to us, but fuck him. Nah, our only objective is catch Raikou. Fuck it. Mm. Get in the ball, you prick. It's okay if you kill dog. I swear, it's okay. I'll just heal somebody else. I have to try, mostly because there's more of these, and I'm gonna be the one that has to do the Coliseum. So much for an ultra catch rate on these. Yeah, I don't even know what that means in terms of this game anymore. But you start using. You're starting to see why I say the Game Boy ones are much more manageable? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And why it's really cool that you can transfer to the Game Boy ones to get a Pokemon on this one? Yeah. Alright, who are you throwing back out? <laughs> well, I don't know. My options are uh, pretty... Uh, there's a lot of options here, isn't there? <laughs> I mean, you got two options. I just bet which one. I mean, it's six one way, half a dozen the other. 
you know? Yeah, I would just, at this point, I would just keep chucking timer balls at him. Which I will. I'm gonna try to revive Pokemon because it's gonna take a while, you know? See a timer ball. It's got the arrows just like on your Zen packs. You know how that works. Yeah. Can I have your Zen, by the way? You want one? Yeah, I want a Zen. A Zen? Because these are mellow. I know what those are. Those are sevens. If you want a Zen. You got one in the back room in your tent. I saw it. I opened it earlier. But I didn't take it. Your struggle to get here was all in vain. The shadow Pokemon we produce have already moved elsewhere. And that, of course, includes the ultimate shadow Pokemon I created for the boss. Raikou? Yeah. I already forgot. I didn't kill him, so I assume I caught him with the last ball. Okay. The battle ended when I threw the ball. There's two. Huh. I have a new one somewhere. A new Zen? Yeah. I'm keeping this then. Course includes the ultimate shadow Pokemon I created for the boss. <laughs> so anyway, one data wrong. PM twenty six. Where the fuck are the steel teeth? I've been looking for the steel teeth. <laughs> 